In the last video, we saw how we could set up a really simple bootloader that basically just booted and halted the system. In this video, we're going to extend that concept further to actually print a message onto the screen when the operating system boots. This will allow us to get an understanding of how we interact with the BIOS to be able to print messages onto the screen, which is a relatively similar process to interacting with Linux in the sense that we're going to use interrupts. However, the interrupts are different and the way that we set them up is also going to be a little different. So we're going to see that process here as we're working on printing a value out onto the screen. So the very first thing that we need to do is in our main, we actually have to set up our program so that we have our registers sort of set up and initialized to a consistent state because we don't really know what state our program is gonna be in when we first boot. So we're just gonna get everything set up the way it needs to be. The way that we do that is we're gonna move into AX the value zero. So we're gonna initialize basically the AX register to zero. And we're gonna use that value to reset a few other important registers. Those registers are going to be the DS register, the ES register, and the SS register. Now we haven't seen these registers so far as we've discussed x86 programming. Basically, the DS register is going to keep track of the start address of the data segment. The ES register sets the start point of the extra segment, and the SS register sets the start address of the stack. We initialize these all to zero to be able to get a consistent starting point for everything. And the last thing that we really need to initialize here is we need to move into the stack pointer the start address of our application, 0x7c00. We do this because the stack grows downward. So what we're doing is we're basically starting the stack just after our actual application code so we can continue to grow downwards from that point. So that gives us a lot of space to actually grow on the stack, which is gonna allow us to work with the stack in a much more effective way. So with that all initialized, we can start on our actual program for printing values to the screen. And we're gonna put this just below halt is probably an okay place for it. You could put it above main, but if you do that, you have to jump to main before the program actually starts, right? So you have to basically jump to main as the first line of code. If you have print above it, that way it doesn't like jump right into print and start trying to print things to the screen. So generally I like to put my functions below the main so that everything starts into main and then we can jump around as needed. Now for the print function, what we're going to do is we're going to provide a few different values to this function. So first thing we want to do is preserve the values that we're going to be working with inside of this function. So we're going to work with the SI register, the AX register, and the BX register. So we're going to push those all onto our stack so we can preserve their values during the application. So we'll push on SI, AX, and BX. And then we're going to set up a loop inside of here. What this loop is going to do is it's going to load data from our string into uh, memory, and then it's going to print out the value basically character by character. So to understand how that's done, let's actually define the string that we want to print. I'm going to call this the OS boot message. You can name it whatever you'd like. It's going to be defined as a DB, and it's going to have a message inside of it. And you can put any message inside of here that you would like. Generally, I'll put ROS has booted. I'm gonna put 0x0d0xoa. These are new line characters. So these will indicate that a new line should be printed as well. And then we're gonna put a zero. And the zero is basically just a value that indicates where the end of this string is. Now, when we actually go and call this function in main, what we're going to do is we're going to move into the SI register, the OS boot message address. So that's the way that we're setting this up. And then here we could just call print. So Basically, we put the message into the SI register and then we call the print function. When we come into the print function, we preserve SI, AX, and BX since we're going to be overwriting them in the function itself. And then here, what we're going to do is we're going to do a few different instructions to load our string character by character and print it onto the screen. So the first thing is going to be to do an LODSB. What this does is it loads a single byte from the current location specified in SI. So a single byte is going to give us a single character of our string. And that's what we're going to generally get from this instruction. So this gets us a single character and it places that character inside of the AL register for us. Now, what we want to do is we want to check to see was the value that was loaded equal to zero, because if it was, that would tell us that we're at the end of the string and that we should stop printing. The easiest way to do that is just to or AL with itself and then do a jump zero to done print. So basically what this is going to do is this OR instruction will set the flags for the instruction. If, if the zero flag is set, it would mean that AL must have been zero since if we OR zero with itself, we get zero. In all other cases, we wouldn't generally get that. So this is what we're going to do to do this check. So if we do get zero, we'll jump to a label called done print. 
uh, done print I'll just to find all the way down here. And here what we're going to do is we're just going to pop off the registers that we preserved, that being AX, BX, and SI. And then we're just going to return. So that's where our return happens. Now, if it isn't equal to zero, we're not going to jump. What we're going to do instead is we're going to do an interrupt. The interrupt that we're going to do is actually going to be a BIOS interrupt. And that BIOS interrupt is going to be set as follows. We're going to move into AH, the value 0x, 0e. This value here represents printing a character to the screen. So this is the code used to print a character to the screen. We're going to move into BH, the value 0. This is representing the page number as an argument. You don't need to worry about the page number in this particular application. Basically what this is used for is it's used for cases where you have maybe multiple monitors and you want to write to a monitor that's not currently visible. You can change this value to access different pages of memory. Since we're in the main page of memory as in the monitor that's being displayed, we can set this as zero for our purposes. And then the interrupt that we're looking for is 0x10. 0x10 is called a video interrupt. So this is going to do a video interrupt and what is going to happen is the BIOS is going to take a look at AH to determine what to do. AH being set to 0x, 0e is going to tell it that it needs to print a character. The character that it needs to print is the value in AL. So it's going to take that value in AL, it's going to print it onto the screen, and then it's going to continue on. Now to get this to continue running, we're just going to jump to print loop so that we keep looping through. So what's going to happen is it's going to load a character, it's going to check if it's zero. If it's zero, it goes to done print, which returns the function. Otherwise, we set up the system call. So we say we want to print a character. We want to print it on the main screen of the computer. And then we actually do the interrupt, which would print the character. We then go back to the top. The top is then going to load the next character. And we're going to continue that process until we reach the zero that's at the end of our string. And then we are done. And with this, I think we should have everything all together that we need to get this print actually up and running. So let's take a look and see what happens. We're going to come into here and we're going to do our make to build our actual image. I'm going to boot that image and see what happens. So you see that now it shows our OS has booted. So it actually does print the message that we were looking to print. And with that, you now understand the basics of interacting with BIOS. This is something that we're going to do pretty frequently as we're starting to write something like a bootloader. So this gives you a bit more of an intuition around working with BIOS and also some of the other interrupts that exist because we only really saw one type of interrupt when we were working with x86, that was the uh, 0x80 interrupt. And the 0x10 is just another example of an interrupt we have for a different kind of scenario. So with that, you now have a really basic setup for being able to print a message onto the screen using BIOS. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.